I don't even know how to start this video because it's that long since I've ridden a motorbike but we are going to ride this at one of James Whitten track days and I'm currently over in the workshop now picking it up because Neil's not fit to come with me he's too busy doing other stuff so I've come over to pick the bike up put it in the van and then tomorrow we are going to do our very first track day or the very first time since I've ridden a bike since the crash so I'm absolutely peaking which you can probably see in my voice it's quite early and I've got bed head as well, so excuse that. But we're gonna go and ride this little Aprilia, which I'm very excited about. And quite a lot of people have asked me like questions like, oh, what bike are you gonna ride first and everything? And basically we're riding this one because this one's ready to go. The Hondas, he started doing some work on them and stuff. So it's not the case of, cause it's the smallest one. I've got no 600s here anymore. This bike's ready to go. So that's what's happening. But yeah, we're gonna go to Anglesey on a James Whitten track day. And you guys are gonna see what happens how slow, how fast, whatever other dramas there is, because I'm obviously going on my own. Let's see what happens. Thanks for your help, Neil. Hey, no, really. Give up on me, haven't you? You have a nice weekend. A nice you've, you've, you've give up on me, haven't you? Have a nice couple of days doing mincing. What? With your best mate, Jamie Whitten. Why are you not coming with me? Not fast enough anymore. You bottled it, didn't you? What? We're ready, because you're scared of him. <laughs> Uh, my I'll go and paint grout fill some walls. My <laughs> right, so just got home now, about to load up the kit, so like my leathers, helmet, boots, gloves. I need to go through all that as well. I did a little bit the other day sorting out like taking out all the damaged stuff, so like undersuits were cut and all that jazz. And do you know what? It made me realise, this is not me like, I don't know how to say this without sounding like a bit of a douche really, but I feel really grateful for like being in the position of in the leather company, RST and RI. And like I've literally opened boxes, I've got new sets of leathers, new helmet, gloves, boots, everything sitting there. And I know how like much effort that is like for people that has to go and buy all that stuff. So big shout out to them guys for I've been with them for a long time, giving me good gear and it's always there when I need it. So really, really grateful. It made me feel, I probably wouldn't normally at any point feel grateful because we just get in this rut of getting new stuff, just comes in the post. But yeah, when I was sorting through stuff, it made me feel really grateful. So I'm gonna go in now and actually try and sort out what I need to bring with me. First thing is helmet. Obviously the last one got wrecked. Let me just toss my picture. New one from R.I. Freshly painted by Paint Nation. That's all ready to rock and roll. Got some spare visors, some like light tint and dark tint and stuff. Need to get earplugs. I don't know if you guys run earplugs, but I cannot ride without them. This is my kit bag that I normally, if you've seen in old vlogs, I normally keep everything in the motorhome. Yeah, it's a bit easier. Oh God, I can't get the bag off. Right, yeah, so everything is normally in the motorhome. So yeah, we've got a couple of pairs of gloves. In this bag here is my undersuits. I wear like a special vest that allows me to put my back protector and chest protector in the vest, so it's a lot easier. Boots are in, got some new boots from Up In Stars. Spare helmet, not that I'll need that, but it's just a habit of always packing one. And then some older pair of gloves. So yeah, that's us. Pretty much ready to rock and roll. It's honestly, it's like it's so exciting, even just to be packing the bag and getting my kit ready, and even putting the bike in the van was exciting. Do you know what I mean? It's just things that I would totally not even enter my head before, but yeah, I feel like I don't know, a kid at Christmas is probably the best <laughs> term to use. Yeah, that's me pretty much. I'll chuck that in the van tonight. Need to chuck a jerry can in, get some petrol in the morning. I'm ready to rock and roll, so I'll see you guys in the morning at some point. The last time you had a set of levers on you. In hospital. <laughs> Don't I, I've only like I was about to pack them in the van and then I suddenly panicked and I was like, oh what if I can't even get them on? And then I thought, well obviously I'm gonna be fit to get them on, but yeah. What do you think? What's he riding? What's he what? What's he riding? Gonna ride a motorbike? No. <laughs> no, not now. Soon. Look who's here next to me. Will you take a video of Toby? And your helmet now. Good to go, I think, Jesse. Well, it's not tea time yet, honey. Go on out. What tea time? Yes. Toby is the Take a video of Toby. Toby, going up to the shade. <laughs> 
Right, so just pulled in to get some diesel, or diesel, some petrol in the jerry can. And now I'm gonna get some breakfast and a coffee. I've been driving for about an hour. It's been pissing down the whole way. It's gonna be all right today. Welcome to Costa, can I take your order? Just realized the camera cut off there. Any of you nosy people wanna know I got a flat white and some sort of a peaking poisson, is that the right word? We're here, <laughs> I'm excited. So it's been raining all night, obviously here as well, because the ground's still quite wet. It's now like half eight, so we've got plenty of time. Honestly, if I get like two or three sessions in, I'll be absolutely made up and I'll probably be fucked as well. So there's no stress with having to try and ride all day or get sessions all day, but it does give it to be nice weather later on. Hopefully that actually comes and we get out and it's nice and dry. It's a little bit windy, but listen, I'm not bothered. Nothing's dampening my mood today. Just parked in beside Wits trailer. I don't know if anybody's been on this and this is not me selling but if you've been on a track day before or if you haven't been on a Whitham day I'll advise it because the numbers are low the instructors are really good now that I'm not doing it anymore the guys are really nice to deal with if you are wanting a bit of a more leisurely enjoyable track day hit the guys up at there we go and be sure and say my name because then I might try and blag a few fibers back off Jim <laughs> Got in, got tyre warmers on, bike's fueled up, pretty much ready to go. Okay, well, I don't need to give it a once over. Neil's already checked it and stuff. I'm gonna miss the first one session, maybe two. The ground is it's pretty much the only good thing it is. The other wind, I'm absolutely. Oh, I just need to put, I'm trying to figure out where to put some of the cameras on. So I've got one back of the suites. I've got one mounted here. I'm gonna mount it properly and then I'll probably pro try and put the second one on exhaust or something to get a, a backward viewpoint try and get as much footage as possible but i'm excited to get out well i'm really fucking excited <laughs> no that's not my that was never my issue either but it's the sheer cost of running it i'm a bit upset about the weekend really i'm better yeah i'm this blue or white or whatever. What's happening, James? Did you get a yolk? This would appear to be a momentous occasion. <laughs>
Well, I feel fucked to have been out for 13 minutes. What? <laughs> I feel fucked to have been out for 13 minutes. I think I have. Yeah. I'll say it's a bit skeptical. The last corner is probably me. Gracie is out, yeah. Fuck, you know, I feel so good I've to get out of my Okay, now. I don't know what, what does people do when they don't ride motorbikes? Fuck no. I'll tell you what, you can tell I haven't had my earplugs in for a while. Look at the amount of grease on them, bastards. All good? Yeah. Enjoy yourself? Yeah. Fucking brilliant. I'll tell you what, though, yeah, the last part of the car that I hit was fucking sick, Yeah, it is, yeah. It's a bit, the track's nearly empty as well. Yeah. Plus, nobody's on the same fucking line. You know, to try and drive it. Yeah. Fuck's Neil, we're fucking tired. Who needs Neil? Right, so <laughs> I'm absolutely peaking. I'm not gonna lie, this means so much to me. And uh, I've just said to the boys, this is like, I don't know what people do that don't ride motorbikes, or I feel sorry for people that haven't had. Like, I'm so slow and I feel rusty and stiff on the bike and everything. I mean, it feels good to ride a motorbike again. <laughs> so good. Yeah, absolutely peaking. Like, I was probably only out there for about 13 or 14 minutes, I've seen on the camera. I feel weak and sore and everything, but that's always going to happen. I'm so, it feels so good to be back. I'm going to do loads of sessions today. It's probably going to end up not fit to walk tomorrow, but thanks to Stu as well for holding the camera and stuff for me. So obviously, there's, like I said earlier, at these track days, there's tutors as well. So Dean Horace is here, Dan Linford's here, Johnny Blackshaw, James Whittam, uh, somebody else I forgot. Dean's just got a group there now, as you can see in the background. It's a bit dark. So yeah, I'm going to wait for a session and then get out again, probably an intermediate group. <laughs> Right, so I have to apologise, I've got a little bit excited and do not. I've done four sessions now, forgot to do some recording. I feel like I've done six laps of the TT, yeah, I feel pretty fun, but I knew that was going to happen and I'm not letting that dampen the excitement of how happy I am to be here. I'm fucking just to be honest, and uh, I need to just get out of my head, like I feel slow, I feel stiff, I feel awkward on the bike, but considering where we were four months ago, I'm going to take that all day long, so I'll probably do, I'll do another at least one or two sessions, and then, uh, then call it a day. Right, so, day done, not day done, but lead done. I'm absolutely spent. Just went out and did another session, so that's five for the day. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a bit secondhand, but I've absolutely loved it. I'm gonna be sore as fuck in the morning, but I'm back in for physio tomorrow, so I'm not really bothered. Absolute mint day. Thanks to James, obviously, for letting me come, and uh, Neil for getting my bike ready, but it's made me realise I'm basically my own mechanic now. Thanks again for watching. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe, and do all that other stuff that people do on YouTube.